So here's a mental model or the argument. There's the subject reality, right? Mm -hmm. Everything that I experience in life happens within. It could be a mental image or thoughts or emotions or physical sensation, anything that actually happens in me. That's how I interpret the external reality. And there's, mm -hmm. there's the objective reality or shall we say consensus reality, mm -hmm. right? That I'm, there's a table in front of me, people can measure it and things like that as a way to create some kind of consensus. So in my mind, what you're trying to do is bridging the subjective reality of the emotions and intention to the uh, objective reality, the external consensus reality. Is that a good rough way to frame what we're discussing here? Yeah, and you just tapped into what is the key aspect of my work on getting people to experience more flow that it's that internal awareness of the emotional state because it's our emotions that block us from flow. When we are feeling like resistant to something or scared, or when we're feeling um, angry or resentful, these things stop us from being willing and able to move forward in a way that actually helps us resolve our problems. So if, for instance, if there's something, if there's a conversation I am afraid to have with somebody because of some grief that I have with them or with this experience in the past and the opportunity comes up, I'm alone with them. The fear or the grief that I'm avoiding will come into in the way of being willing to say something and bring up this conversation. But when we look from the picture of, and this is where it comes into synchronicity and the study of synchronicity, when we look at how do we end up resolving these wounds from the past? How do we end up resolving these, this grief or this blockage? We do so by re-experiencing it and understanding the feelings we're having and having some new experience experience, which is different. So the way that we can, if we bring up this difficult subject with somebody and we have a different experience where, where they're not defensive and they understand what we're saying and we can resolve things like permanently resolve. We let go of that pattern. And that involves being able to go with, you know, understand that we have a feeling that's making us resist that this fear of grief or whatever we're afraid of emotionally. And it's the fear of emotions that keeps us from moving forward. Fear, fear of having certain emotions that we don't want to experience again.